what is going on with the sleeping knights? They are like, give me such mixed signals. If spring hits, they can't play anymore. Sure, what's happening? You got to go back to school? You got a job? I think people are going to die. They're acting like this is like the end of the road for them. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. We still haven't met Mother Rosaria either. Like we have how many episodes left of this arc? This is episode 22. We have until 24. We have three episodes, including this one. We already beat the boss. So the boss was not the point of this arc. The point of this arc is supposed to be a fucking sob story, I think, with the Sleeping Knights. I still can't realize or figure out what's going on other than that the fucking people are going to die. Let's begin today's reaction. Yuki. Not logged in. But she's always logged in. Tell me the secret. Yuki is dead! I don't know. I don't know. I thought that she was an AI made by the Cardinal to satisfy Asuna's desires to fucking roleplay as a warrior. But no, no, no. I don't think it's that it. She mentioned Big Sister. Big Sister? Why big sister? Did the big sister die? Asuna reminds Yuki of her dead big sister? That's why she left? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck did I do? Yeah, we, I feel dirty. You guys used me. Why would it be for Asuna's sake? In order to protect Asuna from some sort of depression. Because something is fucked in Yuki's life right now. I don't know what it is. It's gotta be some sort of dead big sister that Asuna reminds you. But it's like the closer we get to Yuki, the more sad we'll become. So they're pushing us away. Yuki... It... I don't want to make this joke. Oh no. Are you ready for this? Was this entire raid a make-a-wish event? Is Yuki gonna die? Was this entire thing like a make-a-wish fucking, you know, y you know what I'm talking about, right? Kids with fucking cancer or something. I want to see Spider-Man. And then fucking Iron Man shows up. This isn't what I asked for! But like, this is looking really bad. I wanted a happy ending to season 2. I don't think we're getting a fucking happy ending at this rate. <laughs> Are they all Make-A-Wish kids? Does everybody have a terminal illness here? Fuck, dude. Not if they got stage 4 cancer! Look, if she's literally dying, at least give me closure. Tell me where her hospital is so I can fucking go there or something. Like... Come on, give me that closure. Let me see Yuki in real person. <laughs> Bullshit, dude. When we just came out of GG all having fun, and after the Tonki arc, that was fun. The journey's end. Who is Mother Rosario, bro? Oh, dad and mom. You're late. Elizabeth, <laughs> what's going on, Silica? <laughs> Sleeping night, and now they're like all gonna die or something. Kirito. This is getting scary. You, this is the beginning of like AI takeover Terminator style. Right now, all you think is our little cute AI daughter, you know, being in like a fucking, uh, what's it called, like a cam. But imagine she gets mass reproduced. All of these starts to get mass reproduced at a large scale. And now Yui is now like controlling all of Japan. All surveillance is now under the control of whoever controls Yui, bro. This is dangerous. This is so dangerous, bro. Actually feeling like a rom-com high school event, huh? Yeah, I know. I know. 
How the fuck does Kirito know? He figured out her secret. Oh boy. Oh boy. Has she already been cremated? Is, is Yuki dead? Is Kirito sending us to the fucking cremation factory? Are we gonna fucking burn her, dude? And just. What's fucking doing? Medicuboid? What the fuck is a Medicuboid? Make a wish, kid? Is it actually really? Yeah, I, I don't know. So can I see this person in the hospital? What's her name? I don't know. I think she's 15. She goes by Zekin in SAO, by the way. What is Medicuboid? Say name! Almost the same. そこのベンチに座って。とんでもないです。えっと、じゃあ、ここがわかるわけないよと。if only the technology was there where we could transfer the consciousness of Yuki so that even if he's terminally ill, she can live forever within Zasi, the full dive, man. Kirito, bro, you need to fucking study harder, man. You need to fucking study harder and bring the technology where we can all transfer our consciousness into the digital realm and leave behind our human carcasses. Yeah, Kayaba did it. Why can't Yuki did it? Kayaba straight up did it. What is Medicuboid? Government technology. Medical full dive. Even if they're blind or deaf, they can speak or, you know, hear in the game through the science. Okay. Be medical people hospitalized can basically use Medicu Boy to play game and be fine. So it's like an aesthetic? Okay. It's basically super enhanced medical technology that kind of works as like an anesthetic kind of. I'm not really following. I am kind of following a huge breakthrough of science using full dive technology to do complicated shit when they couldn't before, kind of, right? Is Kirito gonna complete the Medicuboid? <laughs> As soon as he fucking took the glasses off, it's like, yep, she's dead. She's gonna die. <laughs> he would only take it off because something serious is about to go down. Please put the glasses back on. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Hospice shit. It's over. End of the road. This goddamn soundtrack again. Is she still alive though? And yes, this is what they were trying to protect her from. And that's why she had nothing better to do but to just play the game because she can't do anything. That's why she was so good. Asuna has the eyes, the resolve to kill, the warrior spirits. She needs to see us through the end. If we go in and Yuki's like, oh, I don't even want to know what she looks like. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's the hospital's fault! You... No, you cannot be doing blood transfusion at a fucking hospital without scanning or... That's the... Sue the fucking hospital, bro. The hospital fucked them up. You did a blood transfusion that nilly-willy without screening? Nah, dude. This hospital killed Yuki.
<gasps> if we go in there, she's like an actual. Oh god. Dude. She literally has to stay in like a sterilized room out of nothing. She has nothing in there. It's just like a white blank room. Resolve, harden, steal your resolves, day ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna hurt. <gasps> oh! Yuki. What a nightmare. They lit the vi The blood they transferred was infected with AIDS. They didn't even screen. F That's crazy. That is insane. 14 year old kids with AIDS because the hospital fucked up. Early detection, but it was too late. She has super AIDS! What is this? You giving her AIDS wasn't enough? You're like, nah. Normal AIDS, nah. Give her super AIDS. What the fuck is this author's problem? Exactly. If you're infected with age, the stigma, you related with that, dude, you're pretty much outcasted by society. What is the point of doing this right now? Who the fuck is Mother Rosario? We got super AIDS now! <laughs> this is so fucked. This is so fucked. This is so fucked. It's over. It's a fucking wrap. Bring me three more fucking episodes of this bullshit, bro. Fuck. Can we just get to Elysialization? Like, fuck this, dude. And it's not even that because the story is bad, but because of it, it's just like, I don't want to see Yuki like this, man. <laughs> She's listening to the entire thing right now too. Oh my god, I didn't realize Yuki was seeing this the entire fucking time, bro. This is fucked. They made her fucking suffer for no fucking... She did it. She took it on, but like, this is so fucked. So she decided to fucking do it because she was pretty much already done. At the very least, she was able to fucking live her life in the virtual world in full dive, even if this all fucked up. I don't know. Like, she was pretty much done with Super Rage from the beginning. It, like, it, 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 it was pretty much over. So at, at least give her a fantasy, at least. I don't know. What, what, what's a better outcome? Right? She was able to meet all these people through the full dive system and a group of community and she got to live some semblance of normalcy for at least a bit, right? I... I don't know. This is one of those tricky questions where there is no good answer. It's up to the beholder to decide what's best for them. And this is... Fuck this author, bro. Fuck this author, bro. In this arc, there's no one creepy. It's just super rage this time. What is up with this guy, dude? Fuck this guy. That's why she pretty much always lives in full dive. That's why she's so cracked. Maybe it's the pain symptoms too, so... 24-7, yep. Three times longer than the hell we went through. Say something. Okay, 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 this is good. 
もとより体に内在する細菌やウイルスを排除することはで分の病状は末期です<笑>彼女があなたの前から姿を消そうと And by spring, that's probably when she dies そうです。Okay? ユキ君は双子だった。トゥインシスターああお姉さんはああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ You gotta be like, nah! Mom and dad, they dead! Big sister, twin sister, by the way! Kill her too! <laughs> I. 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 I don't, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yuki. Yuki. I'm dead inside. ユキ、そこにいるの。うん。連続しだけど見えてるよ、アスナ。そっくりなんだね。いや、プリマッチ。ありがとう。来てくれて。ユキ。アスナに隣の部屋を使わせてあげてください。ドアオブキンダイヴ
Do people die when they drink a poison soup? No. People die when they're forgotten. Now she lives through us. And if we can remember their legacy, they'll never die. This is so fucked up. I just want to go back to Tonki Arc. Put me back to Tonki Arc. I'm gonna fucking stop this episode right now. Get me back to Tonki and Klein getting bullied trying to fucking rizz up NPCs. Bring me back to good time. Why are you doing this? Wait, 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 fucking do this. I miss Tonki Arc. Like what? Oh. Fuck. Take her to the Ruby Palace. Ask Kayama, please. Transfer her consciousness like you did. But we can't. Because the floors are still locked. Ruby Palace is an um. It's like four fucking patches. Like 40 patches away, dude. Ruby Palace is the unlocked. <laughs> Kaya the 41. Mechatronics. SAO school. Mechatronics. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. That's today's episode. Oh fuck. My heart. Oh, I'm a fucking mess right now. My fucking heart. We can't fucking do this. Who the fuck is Mother Rosario? We still don't know who Mother Rosario is. I don't know. I didn't fucking. Can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. We still have two more episodes left. What's worse, this or Snafu? <laughs> well, it depends on what you mean by a worse. I think this is better in an emotional impact because Snafu, we saw that shit coming from a mile away from season one. This, it's like, what the fuck out of nowhere? This girl got AIDS, psych super age. By the way, parents dead. By the way, twin sister dead. By the way, guild members, they all terminal too. Fuck you gonna do about it? Cry little bitches. I'll see you motherfuckers in season three. That's what the author's doing right now. Why are you doing this to me? This is honestly, it's like moments like this really slaps you in the face and lets you appreciate the most basic things that we take advantage of. Just health. Having health, being able to just function. Yeah, life fucking sucks. Everything's fucking expensive. It's hard to just exist. I know. But like, there's people like this. They're terminally ill. They can't even do anything. Moments like this makes you really realize how blessed I am. How blessed we might be about just having regular motor skills and health that we just take for granted. Maybe that's the fucking story that the author's trying to tell us right now. But fuck, dude, this is so sad. And the worst part is, we still have two more episodes left of this, right? We still- we straight up have 23 and 24. Oh, fuck, I can't do this. And we still don't know who Mother Rosario is. I don't know. I- I- no- no outro. I'm fucking done. I'll see you guys next episode.